All right, third grade students, teachers, and parents, we want to thank you so much for joining us for our March 2021 Leadership Assembly. Now, remember, this assembly is where we recognize students who have shown exemplary growth in academics or leadership skills in and out of the classroom. So this time, we're going to let some of our students participate uh, remotely in video. We're going to have a welcome by one of our students, and then we will all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, and we will then all continue standing for the prowl. So we will have our welcome first by Gary Taylor, Jr. I'm Gary. Welcome to the third grade leadership assembly. We are going to recognize third graders working hard and meeting their goals. Excellent. Thank you so much, Gary. Students and parents, if you'll still, if you'll please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Excellent. Thank you so much, Joshua. And now for the prowl. Great job. I love seeing our third graders get ready for fourth grade by preparing for their leadership roles. All right. The first award that we're going to give out today is for the student in each class who has received the most PBIS points over the last grading period. And now remember, you earn PBIS points by meeting school-wide and classroom expectations. So congratulations to Lillian McMahon with 489 points in Miss Hardin's class. And in Miss Miguez's class, we want to congratulate Oliver Cordova with 676 points. Congratulations to Mallory Grady in Miss Peavy's class with 558 points. Congratulations to Tinley Fryer in Miss Ray's class with 1,032 points. Congratulations to Gavin Morris in Miss Ryan's class with 674 points. And to Kylie Martin, congratulations for in Miss Stevenson's class receiving 285 points. All right, next we want to recognize our Reflex Rock Stars. Remember, these are the students in each class that have solved the most math facts. In Miss Hardin's class, our Reflex rock star was Christy Player with 11,200 facts. In Miss Miguez's class, Brody Thompson solved 17,500 facts. In Miss Peavy's class, congratulations to Carly Gambrell for solving 4,177 facts. Congratulations to Caden Borrego from Miss Ray's class for solving 17,000. 730 facts. And in Miss Ryan's class, congratulations to Gavin Morris for solving 4,464 4,464 facts. And in Miss Stevenson's class, congratulations to Tristan Ruiz for solving 3,353 facts. Excellent job, students. All right, now we want to go on to recognize some of our Reading Plus pioneers. These are our students who have shown exemplary work in their Reading Plus program, which is a computerized program that helps students to read on their level. Parents, if you don't know what a combo is, a combo, it's not a, it's not a chip that you eat that has a little cheese filling in it. A combo in Reading Plus is actually when the student completes a lesson and gets at least an 80% 
So it's several things together and it means that they really understood the material that they read. So congratulations in Miss Hardin's class. Artist McGibbon is a Reading Plus pioneer with 43 combos. Also Piper Diltz from Miss Hardin's class with 42 combos. I think we had a little competition going on there. In Miss Miguez's class, Lila Allen was one of the pioneers with 14 combos. And Addison Lewis was another pioneer in Miss Miguez's class with 13 combos. In Miss Peavy's class, congratulations to Trela Henderson with 34 combos. And to Katie Grace Lawrence for 33 combos. Congratulations in Miss Ray's class to Caden Borrego for getting 12 combos. And to Axton Lanius for nine combos. Congratulations also in Miss Ray's class to Baylor Tipton who got nine combos. And in Miss Ryan's class, Briley Anderson with 35 combos. And Ty Duke with 33 combos. In Miss Stevenson's class, congratulations to Kylie Martin with eight combos. And Paris Sims with 10 combos. All right, so those were our Reading Plus Pioneers. Now we want to go on to our leadership um, awards that we want to give out. This first award is a few months ago, we really heavily focused on putting first things first, working first and then playing. We really tried to teach the kids to learn how to spend their time on things that are the most important by saying no to things that they shouldn't do or that they need to do later, setting priorities, making a schedule, and following a plan, teaching ourselves to be self-disciplined and organized. So these are the students who the teachers felt like really made a lot of progress or really exemplified this particular habit. In Ms. Hardin's class, congratulations to Parker Lambert. Parker works hard each day to complete his daily tasks. He prioritizes his work to make sure he is completing his big rocks before his little rocks. He takes great initiative to stay organized so he can keep up with all of his materials. In Miss Miguez's class, congratulations to Avery Fouts. Avery comes in every morning ready to go. On most days, she has already earned her green light on reflex math before she arrives to school. Wow. She definitely knows how to plan and accomplish those goals that she sets. Avery is a very hard worker and is determined to always do her best work every day. And in Miss Peavy's class, congratulations to Janiah Blackman. Janiah always puts first things first. As soon as she enters the room, she knows what needs to be done. Janiah is a hard worker and is always paying attention so she can learn something new every day. She keeps her things organized in her tiger binder and is very responsible. Because she puts first things first, she has shown much improvement. Congratulations to Aubrey Colgrove in Miss Ray's class. Aubrey goes above and beyond to put first things first. She works each and every day to complete her tasks with enthusiasm. From completing her reflex minutes daily, finishing her reading plus lessons with time to spare, and always being ahead of the curve in Zern, her determination to accomplish great things inspires all of us to do our best. In Miss Ryan's class, congratulations to Ava Rossini. Ava knows what is expected of her and strives daily to meet that expectation. She puts her academics and learning first. Ava is a leader in our classroom and sets an example to all of those around her. She is a hard worker in the classroom and also at home. Great job, Ava. And Malaya Fullerton in Miss Stevenson's class. Malaya Fullerton's organizational skills are exceptional. She always puts materials exactly where they belong so she can quickly refer to them when needed. She is always focused on accomplishing her daily tasks and Erla and Reading Plus goals. Once her daily tasks are complete, she will go and do what she enjoys, which is to check that Miss Hawkins is staying on her task of her water consumption. She is a leader to her peers for accomplishing the big rocks first before making room for her small rocks. And let me tell you, she makes sure that I get my water consumption taken care of each day. I appreciate that. 
All right. The next leadership award is for leaders who think win-win. And this says everyone can win, but we don't mean everyone gets a trophy. This is an attitude or a feeling of we want everyone to be successful. We don't want to put other people down. And when conflicts happen, we look for a third solution. I believe that all of us can win. So congratulations to Carter Grisham in Miss Harden's class. Carter celebrates other students' achievements and is a true believer that everyone can win. He compliments other students for a job well done while working hard to accomplish his goals. He brings so much positivity and encouragement to our classroom. Congratulations to David Trammell in Miss Miguez's class. David is a fantastic role model for his classmates. He is often seen encouraging them to be their best and is always ready to help in any situation. He goes above and beyond in, in and around the school and is a great problem solver. Congratulations to Megan Meenick in Miss Peavy's class. Megan thinks win-win with her classmates in the classroom and while at recess. She is very sweet and respectful to all her classmates. She works with her group in a way so everyone gets a chance to participate. She is caring and wants everyone to feel proud of their accomplishments. Congratulations to Baylor Tipton in Miss Ray's class. Baylor approaches every situation with a win-win attitude. She is so considerate of others and balances both courage and consideration like a pro. Her win-win attitude brings so much light to our classroom. And congratulations to Aaliyah Ballou in Miss Ryan's class. Aaliyah selflessly thinks win-win every day with her classmates. Whether it is during class or on the playground, she puts others' feelings before her own. Aaliyah is willing to help others and think outside of the box so that everyone can win. Way to go, Aaliyah. And congratulations to Joshua Hebel in Miss Stevenson's class. Joshua's energy and enthusiasm is the fuel that keeps our class engine going. He is constantly an attentive listener when his peers are talking and always follows with a celebratory phrase if they get an answer correct. He congratulates his classmates on their big and small accomplishments all day, every day, and is contagious to others. Joshua is the reason you can hear our classroom always clapping and cheering others along. Ooh, I want to be in class with all these students. Okay, we've come to our final award. To me, this is the most special award because it is voted on by their peers. Each class chooses who they think is the leader of the pack for this time period, um, grading period, for the student who has shown the most leadership ability in the classroom. Congratulations in Ms. Hardin's class to Lane Holloway. Lane's classmates see him as a great leader in our classroom. Lane is a good example and he reminds people what to do. Lane is always setting a great example, and he is a leader and follows the rules. Congratulations, Lane. In Miss Miguez's class, Anna Kate Beville, Bevel, excuse me, Anna Kate Bevel. I think Anna Kate would be a great leader because she is a great helper and is always kind. Anna Kate is kind and has patience. Anna Kate is a great listener and is not afraid to disagree. She does it so nicely. Congratulations, Anna Kate. In Miss Peavy's class, congratulations to Mallory Grady. Mallory always listens and tries to get good grades. Mallory is sweet and listens to the teacher. And Mallory is a good friend and is responsible. Congratulations, Mallory. In Miss Ray's class, Joplin Brazil. Congratulations. She is always showing good leadership and helping others. She is always doing what she is told to do by Miss Ray. And Joplin is always sweet and kind to everyone. Congratulations, Joplin. In Miss Ryan's class, we want to congratulate Justin Lewis. He is honest and kind. <coughs> Justin helps someone when they need it. He is always a team player at freeze tag at recess. And Justin follows the rules and helps others. Congratulations, Justin. And in Miss Stevenson's class, Xander Wilkinson. Xander is a leader because he is always so nice to me. He makes good grades, he's caring, and he plays with me at recess. Xander is a leader because he is smart, follows directions, and gets done what needs to be done. And Xander is a leader because he never gives up, even if something is hard. Oh my goodness, I have enjoyed this third grade 
listen, listening to the awards of the third grade. I'm looking forward to them as fourth graders next year. Congratulations to all of our award winners and thank you so much for joining us.